Hey everyone, this is 3D Dave with a new video and today we're going to talk about the GTEC 3D Touch. This is GTEC's attempt to make a BL Touch and GTEC is one of uh, the other players that does make those probes and we are going to unbox, unbox this one. It's nicely packaged, well in the foam. It comes with a set of accessories and let's try to open this. Uh, I'm going to try not to cut any cables. Not that I did that before. Well, I did. Um, but uh, I'm getting off easy this time, I think. Let's get it here. And this is the bag of accessories. Um, let's open it up real quickly because in the end it's the accessories that are important. These are the pins to connect them. So you have to extend it. You have some connectors together with this one to make your own plugs. So that works as well. You have a screw with some washers and a diode. Um, I don't think nowadays we need the diode of any kind, but um, anyways, let's see what the 3D touch sensor has to offer. Push it through. And as we can see is that it's a, it's a fixed point module. The, most of them come with a cable, so this one can't deconnect. That's a good thing. Um, and it has a, a metal probe, a metal pin. Um, that's a good and a bad thing. Um, it's a good thing. It's, it's stronger than the plastic ones. It's a bad thing. It will probably rip off the entire assembly. Um, it does come with, well, the cables are, are colored. Um, and the package has nothing. So there is no, except for the code, there is no, um, how should I say, there is no manual or anything included in the package. So uh, I looked it up online and there is a nice manual. Um, I will link the, I will put the link in the description below so you can look it up yourself and you don't have to, uh, to look for the manual anymore. In the manual, it definitely states uh, what it is. So, um, brown is the ground, red is five volt, orange is the signal, and then the black one is ground again, and the white one is Z min. So just by, by these, uh, by this information, you should be able to connect it. Uh, the funny part is you can use these so you don't have to swap anything. You can swap them here if you need to. Also for this one, you can just swap them around if you need to so it fits your, uh, your board. Uh, I will mount mine on my A8 well, Frankenstein machine by now. Um, and I will let you know what the result is. Um, I do have a BL touch. And I also have uh, another clone of a 3D touch. So I, I will compare them. I, I will just mount all of them and then let them uh, level the bed and, and see what happens. Uh, so that's basically it. Um, it came in around, I think, 25 euros on Amazon. So it's, it's not as cheap as the knockoff ones from AliExpress or so, um, but they will deliver uh, way faster than AliExpress or uh, Banggood or whatever today. So um, the good thing, it is mounted so they won't deconnect. And um, in the end, it's a 3D touch. So let's mount it, let's test it, and I'll get back to you. 
If you like my videos, please subscribe to the channel and uh, give me a thumbs up. And see you next time. Bye-bye.